Hello there. The cold weather is here to stay for a bit longer just yet, but the amount of snow we've seen has varied a lot from place to place. Many of us haven't seen a single flake over recent days. There's been a smattering over the tops of the hills of the beautiful Cumbrian Lake District, but a bit more than that in Highland, where we have seen some places reporting over 30 centimetres of lying snow. We will see some bigger changes in our temperatures as we head into the weekend, particularly across the western side of the UK as we start to draw up these southwesterly winds, but cold air slower to move away from the east. So there will be a big jump up in temperatures across northern and western areas, in many cases back into double figures as we go through the weekend, but with that will come thicker cloud and outbreaks of rain. The colder air is still hanging on across eastern areas, but even here temperatures should slowly rise closer to normal. Good morning, Carol. I think that picture says it all. It does. It's lovely, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. This morning, if you are heading out, the temperature at the moment in parts of Hampshire and also in Hereford is minus six. In Drumnadrock, it's, it's minus four. So as Fee was just saying there, there are lots of yellow warnings out for ice. In fact, they're across the north, the west and the south of the country. So some treacherous conditions. And as well as that, there are some yellow warnings out for snow and they're across the north and the west. So today that is the forecast. We're looking at snow and ice. Some disruption is certainly possible. There'll be a lot of dry weather around as well in between all of this and some sunshine at times areas of cloud. It was really chilly coming to work this morning. If you have to drive somewhere this morning, school run or work, get up a little bit early perhaps, de-ice the car. Scrape it away. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Carol is here with us this morning. Morning Carol. It looks beautiful but everybody's got to be slightly careful today haven't they? That's right, Sal. There is once again the risk of ice on untreated surfaces. The Met Office actually has copious yellow weather warnings, yellow weather warnings out for that across the north, the west and the south of the country. And there are also yellow weather warnings out for snow across the north and also the west. It's not quite so cold here, I don't think, but Carol can tell us for sure. Morning, Carol. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. It is a cold start to the day today, mind you, although not as cold as it was yesterday when some of us saw temperatures fall to minus nine Celsius. There's more cloud and more breeze, but we still do have wintry showers, as you can see from our weather watchers picture in Warrington. It is a cold start to the day, isn't it, Carol? It certainly is, Sal. Yes. Good morning, everybody. It's cold, it's frosty, and once again, there is the risk of ice on untreated surfaces. Further snow showers for some of us, but not all of us, as you can see from this beautiful picture taken this morning in the Isle of Wight by one of our weather watchers. But the snow and the ice combination could well lead to some disruptions. So if you are heading out, do take extra care. How long is this cold weather going to last? Well, for the next few days anyway. It is not quite so cold here this morning, but it still was really chilly coming to work, wasn't it? But it might feel it. Carol can tell us. Good morning, Carol. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. You're absolutely right. It's a cold start to the day. There's a widespread frost and there's the risk of ice on untreated surfaces. And for the rest of this week, it's going to continue with this cold theme until the weekend. Widespread frost, wintry showers still in the forecast and ice again is likely to be a hazard for the next few days and nights.